Hey guys, I got the first service done for my BMW 630D and uh, these papers I'm holding right here is the service bill that I received from BMW for uh, getting it serviced. We will circle back to this one. Uh, before that, uh, I want to talk to you all about uh, the service process that uh, BMW has in place and uh, we'll also uh, talk about the total cost um, in getting um, the 630D service and also the service packages available, uh, the warranty um, and who should be availing it and why. The car itself will tell you when it's actually due for service. Uh, you can see a notification in the digital instrument cluster uh, which tells you uh, wh when it's actually time uh, to give your car for service. If that information is not enough then you can always uh, go and check the vehicle status in the iDrive and uh, you can check the tire pressure using the tire pressure monitor you can check the engine oil level uh, which can only be measured when the engine is actually turned on and you can also see the service requirements uh, it will show when uh, the car needs to be serviced uh, it will show when the engine oil needs to be changed when the brake fluid needs to be changed and when uh, the next vehicle check should happen so it's pretty much useful stuff in here and it also will show you the add blue level uh, so i used to rely on this whenever i go for uh, a long trip uh, so when i start the car i usually check all these things to make sure that the car is okay so yeah that's about how you would come to know about uh, when it's actually time uh, to give your car for service i had identified few issues myself which i wanted to bring to the service team's notice i was able to hear very feeble rattling from behind and i suspect that uh, it is from the electrical sun blind in the rear door so i had noted that down and another uh, issue being when they actually installed the bmw dash cam at the rear it looks like they uh, forgot to put a clip back in place uh, because of which uh, the roof lining cloth had come out a bit. I had uh, informed about that as well to them. And I also wanted a complete induction uh, of the BMW dash cam uh, which was installed. Uh, so there is a mobile app for that. And I uh, wanted to know how to connect uh, the app uh, with the camera so that I can actually check all the recordings. even. I can configure the settings uh, of the camera based on that. So moving on to the process now, the first step would be to book a service appointment with uh, BMW. I reached out to the showroom manager and uh, he reached out to uh, the service team who then got back to me uh, with a list of available slots when I can uh, book an appointment. So I chose a date and time which I felt comfortable for me. There is pick up and drop available, uh, but I wanted to go there myself, uh, meet with the service team uh, tell them all the issues that I had noted down and I did not want them to miss anything and on the day of service uh, I reached there on time and they did a thorough uh, inspection of the car right from exterior interior they checked all the storage spaces they made a video of everything uh, just to make sure that the customer and BMW are on the same page uh, when it comes to the condition of the car when it arrived for service I felt like it's a very nice thing uh, and um, uh, they also shared uh, the link to the video the very same day itself uh, via email and the next thing they did was to run diagnostics on the car uh, which will actually tell them um, whether there is anything wrong with the car or not so they did that and uh, came back to me uh, saying uh, it just needs a general service uh, like it's, it just needs an oil change oil filter change and that should uh, get the job done uh, so yeah, there was no surprises for me there, uh, which is actually good. Uh, and uh, I was told uh, that the brake pads uh, will last for a few more thousands of kilometers. Uh, and then the car itself will tell me uh, if it's time to change it. Uh, then at that time I can uh, take the car to them uh, and uh, get it changed. Uh, so that's also sorted out for me. And in two days time, the service was done and I was informed about it. So I went there to pick uh, the car and checked uh, everything that I reported uh, everything seems to be working fine now and they gave a complete induction uh, like I had requested for the dash cam uh, which was uh, really nice and I now know uh, what needs to be changed and when uh, with respect to the dash cam and then they finally handed over me this uh, which is the most interesting thing when it comes to the service uh, so the this is a set of two bills the one for the labor 
and uh, another one for uh, the things which they have changed in the car uh, like i already said the car just needed a general service uh, so it uh, narrows down to just the oil change and the oil filter change uh, so they have charged for that and uh, together uh, along with uh, the labor charge the cost is coming to somewhere around 27 28000 for a general service and uh, that is for the BMW 630D. I had availed a service pack uh, for three years and 40,000 kilometers and because of which I didn't have to pay anything for this service done. So if you ask me whether it is really necessary uh, to take a service pack, uh, then I would say it purely depends on the usage. Uh, for me, I feel like even the three years and 40,000 kilometers is not going to be sufficient. I came to know that based on my usage till now, so I definitely will have to go ahead and extend the pack, um, choose a much more uh, appropriate pack which suits my usage. Uh, so there are uh, different uh, packs for uh, different kinds of usage. So the service package and warranty are two different things. Uh, according to me, you should definitely have the warranty active uh, because that's the only thing which can save you when any part of your car fails. If at all anything fails and that too in luxury cars, those parts are so expensive and it is definitely going to put a big dent on your pocket if you don't have the warranty at that time. Uh, so it's always better to have the warranty. I'll be doing a detailed follow-up video on all the service packs available and also the warranty options that uh, BMW has. Uh, so stay tuned for that. I'm pretty happy with the service experience that I got from BMW. They did resolve all the issues I reported and also the service head and uh, the service advisor did a pretty neat job executing all the process uh, BMW had uh, placed and uh, also they made uh, the service experience very hassle free so thanks to them and um, yeah that's uh, pretty much um, about uh, the first service experience I had with my car uh, so I hope you all enjoyed it uh, until we meet next time bye bye